Hey guys, this is Redface Menace from the future. Come to say there are some audio issues with this video. Uh, I accidentally set my gate a little too high. So sometimes it's a little hard to understand what I say, but I think that the audio is listenable. It's not um, my preference, but of course I know that many of you prefer the live gameplay to uh, replay and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the live gameplay here. Hopefully you can bear with me on that. And yeah, let's jump straight into the video. You know, just casually turn three, triple prime evil titan, no big deal. Hello and welcome titan gamers. We are here for round four with the list that you see on screen right in front of us. We are trying to titan some people and uh, being rather successful, I must say, we're currently at two and one. So uh, let's hope to continue that win streak, although we did happen to let the wheels fall off a little bit in the last round against Mono Blue Tron. And hopefully we won't repeat that experience. I will see you guys for the game. All right, have a match. So let's hop on in here. What is the pairing say? Will it be a good matchup or a bad match? Are we on the play or the draw? Questions that need to be answered. We are on the draw. It's unfortunate. We have a turn one amulet hand, though. We're lacking some ramp, but especially on the draw, I think we keep this. If we top deck a Dryad or an Azusa, or even maybe a Summoner's Pact, then we might be pretty okay here. Opponent has revealed a Yorion. Very intriguing. So potentially playing against some sort of controlling deck. Turn one Abundant Growth. Not super surprising here. Sort of like a strictly worse um, Arkham's Astrolabe. Second Amulet is insane. Definitely get the Stronghold in play. Play one of these amulets, pass it back. If our opponent forces it, that's, um, I mean, we'd rather have both amulets, but, you know, what can be done about it? Now, if we draw any three drop or summoner's pack, we just get to tighten them and potentially even kill them this upcoming turn. Planes. Another abundant growth, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, that's not beating. Turn two Titan. Come on, three drop. <laughs> or the third amulet. Um, that's interesting. So we're gonna be squadron tightening them. But we can't do it this turn. So let's get our plant token here for ultimate value, of course. Third amulet of vigor. How do you feel about that opponent? Look at the trio. Don't forget this little zero one guy. He's just chilling, you know. He's hanging out. Not every day that you get to just throw three amulet of vigors into play. Hopefully, our opponent has no interaction for this titan. That said, I'm a little afraid of playing into a counter spell here, so we might just want to jam the turn timber first and see like what happens. <laughs> Ren and six. Or our opponent can tap out and just give us free reign to just tighten them and, you know, do the thing where we kill them. Ooh, they're killing our plant token. How are we ever going to win? We can't win without this plant token. That was, that was everything. Opponent is just on the no fear plan. Well, sorry to say, opponent, but you have great reason to be scared. Here comes the Titan squad. Although I think I'm only going to get two Titans into play. No need to go for, like, super hyper overkill. I guess it's pretty free to get three titans, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think we should get three titans in play? We can even pick up Colony for value here. Our opponent might just scoop to the titan, in all honesty. No? All right. Well, let's do the Polari West Ultimate Growth Chamber thing. Right, you know, just casually turn three, triple prime evil titan, no big deal. We'll transmute, get summoner's pack, pack. I said we'll pack, get a titan. Here he comes. We will search. Again, I think I think we can get a third Titan into play here. I don't see anything wrong with that. 
I'm kind of mortified that I'm going to mess up the triggers here and lose us the game just on that, but I'm trying to be very careful not to do so while also trying to do this quickly. No big deal. Right? Yep. All right. This time we need to haste our Titan. We get the Suva copying the stronghold and Boros Garrison. Right? So far, so good. And tap these two. We'll haste this one. And tap these two. We'll haste the next one in the line. Untap these two. Haste the third one in the line. All right, our opponent has seen the winning line. Ugh. Squadron Titan, let's go. All right, all right. We're playing against our opponent with uh, abundant growth. They could have some ramp creatures like Birds of Paradise and uh, Arbor Elf or that kind of thing. So I wouldn't be surprised if Explosives was good here, but I don't know for sure. We probably... Probably will want Beast Within for various threats, including Planeswalkers like Ashiok or like something. But it also can hit things like a Soul Herder if our opponent's playing that. I think Dismember will be good here, most likely. I'll bring in one of the Explosives. I'm not convinced that Explosives is great here, however. Veil of Summer is good if our opponent is playing Counter Magic. I feel like they probably will be, so I'll bring it in. And then, of course, we just have to have Tracker to grind. Like, come on, how am I not going to bring in this beautiful card when I have the ability? All right, uh, against our opponent, we probably don't want these Grazers. We can probably trim on one pack. Bog is of debatable value. It could be good, it could be bad. There's no Uro to worry about, and our opponent, there's no um, Mystic Sanctuary to worry about. That said, I don't know if our opponent will have anything Graveyard Reliant. For the moment, I'm going to trim it, but if we see something that makes us want to bring it back in for Game 3, then we will. I'm not huge on the Radiant Fountain here either, but it is an untapped source, and I don't want to cut too much on land, so probably fine without it. Trim a Turn Timber, as that's weak to all kinds of counter magic and harder to cast. Maybe just trim both Turn Timbers. That might be a little crazy, though. I kind of want to keep all these other cards, though. All right, Turn Timber, you're out. We got a better threat than Turn Timber in Tireless Tracker, so... I'm really anticipating our opponent being a little more... We're just blessed with all the uh, multiple amulet draws. Uh, I'm really hoping our opponent is more on the low-to-the-ground creature rampy kind of Yorion strategy and not just playing um, the uh, abundant growth for value. I think we have to keep this, obviously. We don't get to play anything until turn three, but on tap source? Okay, I stand corrected. We get to play everything by turn two. No big deal. And Dotha Triome, our opponent is playing black. Or it's just there as a fetchable source for the green and white, depending on the type of fetch lands they're playing. I don't know. Grand six, that's fine. We are playing no soccer tribe scouts in our deck. You, you can kill a plant token with this, as I have recently learned, but I mean, all right. Summoner's Pact is intriguing. We don't quite have Titan mana this turn, however. We can play Amulet, Growth Chamber, Dryad, Growth Chamber again. And that's five mana, so we're actually one short. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this Amulet into play. And Growth Chamber picking up the Sun Home, I do believe, so that we can still make land drop progress here. I mean, we have Titan now, though, so things are looking fantastic. Dryad. And now we just play the Garand Rig and pass it back. Playing Garand Rig here because if our opponent has something to destroy an amulet, like if they have some kind of like Force of Vigor or something to hit Dryad plus Amulet, we can still play Bounce Land and tighten this upcoming turn. Potentially losing out on double striking, but that's probably okay. See if our opponent taps out on their three mana here again. They do. Okay. Uh, force or bust. Force or bust. Let's see, Titan just is lethal here, right? No, we have the Sun Home in hand. So Titan is not quite lethal. 
there might be a way to play Dryad into Sunhome. You play Gruel Turf, float four, six, down to three, Dryad. Valakut actually might let us kill them with triggers from Valakut with the Dryad in play. Hmm. Okay, well. Float one. Now. All right, well, I'm going to lead on the Summoner's Pact and see if our opponent counters it, because that might inform what land drops we choose to make here. All right, it worked. I think our opponent is dead. All right, let's play the Gruel Turf. Untap once. Float. Tap twice. Float. Float. Activate Garenbrig. Trying to leave red floating here so that we can activate. They let's play this dryad. Play the Valakut. Tap. Tap. Titan. Here we can get second Valakut and the uh, Stronghold and use our Valakut that's in play to float white with our Dryad ability. That's nice. Second Valakut, Slayer's Stronghold. Well, I suppose we would have been able to do this regardless, but... Red, white, Titan, tap, tap. Our opponent scoops it up. Well, um, that was too easy, but I'm not going to complain. When your opponent uh, doesn't really meaningfully interact with you and then just taps out on turn three and lets you tighten them with multiple elements in play, I mean, it really makes this deck look really broken. Uh, I don't really know what else to say about that. Let me know what you thought of the match, and I will see you guys for match five, where we'll be fighting for the four and one exciting tour. I mean, at 3-1, and one, though, we've already guaranteed half of our league value back. No, a full league value back at the worst. So, hey, that means I can just keep doing what I'm doing and keep producing the content for you guys. And that is the main goal. As long as I'm hitting that 3-2 and two record, I'm personally very satisfied. Even if we were to go worse than that, 1-4, and 2-3, and three, I'd still be okay with that. Because perhaps that means that we've gained some learning or some understanding. Or at least some entertainment. And that's good enough for me. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next match. Redface Menace. Signing off.